Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and welcome to part three of my spring cleaning series. Today we're tackling the breakfast nook in the kitchen and also the master bathroom. We're deep cleaning, organizing, and decorating these areas to get them ready for the warmer months ahead. Comment a sun emoji below if you are ready for warmer weather. I am definitely in need of a beach vacation and some sunshine after all of this snow. I was able to purchase a few items to freshen up our space, but the majority of the things that I needed were not available due to power outages and icy roads, so I'll have to get to those things soon enough, but I'll explain later in the video what that is. But I did want to just give these areas a good deep clean. I've decided to just make this a month-long process and spring clean sections of my home at a time to make it feel a little less tedious and overwhelming. But if you're new here, my name is Lauren and I love to make videos about cleaning decorating, organizing, and all things homemaking. So if you love those things too, smack that red subscribe button below. It's totally free and you'll be notified every time I upload some new cleaning or home homemaking motivation. I'm just gonna start out today by tackling light fixtures and blinds and cobwebs and all of those details that are forgotten on a day-to-day -day basis here in this kitchen nook. As you can see, this area is still decorated for Valentine's Day, so today we're going to take all of that down and get it ready for spring. I am going to have an Easter decorate with me up on March 7th, so stay tuned for that. But for today, I'm just going to take all of this down, clean it really well, and freshen it up for spring. We're going to add lots of florals and greenery and things like that to make it feel really fresh and clean. I did go ahead and wipe down this window with a glass cleaner and now I'm just going in with my Mrs. Meyers multi-surface cleaner in the basil scent with a microfiber cloth and wiping down this door. We go in and out this door all day every day to take our dog out and it gets fingerprints and smudges and so I just wanted to give it a good wipe down. I did the same thing with our front door just to make sure that they were nice and clean. Doors can sometimes be overlooked because you don't usually pay attention to what they look like all the time, but they do collect a lot of fingerprints and smudges and bacteria. So grab that multi-surface spray, spray them down, wipe them down, it'll make you feel so much better. And I'm doing the same thing with our kitchen table. I do give the table topper a wipe down pretty often, but today I'm gonna wipe down the tabletop, the bottom of the table, and both of the chairs just to make sure they're nice and clean. Today's video is in collaboration with Carla from Carla's Sweet Life here on YouTube. If you are not already subscribed to her, go and do so right now. Y'all will absolutely love her. Her channel is full of extremely motivating cleaning and homemaking and decluttering content. She also shares lifestyle and motherhood type content, so her channel is just packed with motivation. And she is also just such a sweet soul, and she seriously just radiates so much joy. Y'all will absolutely love her. Definitely go give her a follow here and then on Instagram as well and let her know that I sent you. And if y'all are coming over from Carla's channel today, thank you so much for stopping by. My channel is full of homemaking content as well. So I hope you'll subscribe and stick around for tons more motivation. Some of the things that I've been looking forward to doing in this area are putting a rug underneath this table, a really pretty round rug, and then getting a little hutch or some sort of a decorative table for this side over here on the right. 
put our little coffee bar on or maybe just some knickknacks and I had planned for all of that to be in this video but then we got two huge winter storms and the roads were completely iced over and I was not able to get to the stores to look at anything. I had to convince my husband to take me to Target just to get a few things to freshen this area up. So I did pick up these little seat covers. We've been having some little red pillows here and they were here for Christmas and then through Valentine's Day. But we had to take those down because red no longer suits the season. So I picked up these little neutral seat covers just to kind of make this area a little bit more comfy looking. I do eventually want to replace these chairs and get some cloth chairs and I need four of them really. We've been having two just because it's just Will and I but if we have company over or something like that I want to be able to seat everyone so I need to get some more chairs here. But I also picked up this little pitcher from At Home and I think it is absolutely beautiful. I freaking love it. It's got these little blue flowers that are imprinted in it and they're painted. And then I'm just adding some eucalyptus that I found at Walmart. Eventually, when the roads clear up, I'm going to go get some fresh flowers to stick in here. And I also picked up that bunny last year from TJ Maxx. And I think this area is just beautiful for spring. And it's going to be even more beautiful when we can go to the store and get a rug and a little hutch for this other little area on the right. But right here, I'm just going to vacuum everything up. I vacuumed up the baseboards. I dusted the blinds and cleaned the window. And now we're just going to clean up all the dust and dirt off the floor and we're going to go in with some hot water and lemon pine salt to mop up these floors. Even though we weren't able to get to the store to get the rug and the hutch and all of the things that I really wanted for this area, I was super happy with the outcome and I think it really freshened up this space for spring. It looked beautiful, it looked fresh, all of the pops of red were gone from Valentine's Day and that just goes to show that you don't need a whole lot of things to freshen up your space for a new season. Just go to Target, grab a couple of items, you don't have to go all out. The only reason I'm saying that I needed a hutch and a rug is because we definitely need that for all year long. We're still trying to furnish our house and we just don't have the basics yet just because we just moved in. But just tiny little things like this, like a little pop of greenery from Walmart for five bucks and some seat covers from Target for like 10 bucks can really make a huge difference in a small little space like this. But now we're moving into the master bathroom and for this area, we are going to completely deep clean it. I wanted to take everything off of these countertops and deep clean them. We're gonna go through these cabinets and drawers and organize them. This little, um, I don't know what you call it, but this little glass container on the counter, I love it. I got that from TJ Maxx, but it has never had anything in it that is decorative. I've just thrown some cotton balls in it. At Christmas time, I did have some ornaments in there, but now it is time to get something that can be in there year round. So I did find some filler at At Home that I'm gonna throw in here. And I'm not sure if I'm in love with it. I don't know what I think about it. Let me know what you think down below. I feel like I kind of just wanted something a little more neutral and this kind of, I don't know, it's a little all over the place. It is pretty. I'm not sure if it goes with the theme in here, but honestly, we don't really have a theme in here yet just because I haven't done a whole lot of decorating, but I guess I'm thinking the theme in my head. But really what I'm going for in this bathroom is kind of a spa theme where everything is white and neutral and just kind of calms your mind when you come in here. I love to take bubble baths in here and light candles. And so I want everything to just be easygoing and really calm. But I do love this, don't get me wrong. I'm not sure if it's exactly what I was looking for. I did find some moss balls at Target that I was gonna get and then I was like, mm, I don't know if that's too much or not. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'm still in the process of deciding what I want to do with that. I do think it looks a lot better than those cotton balls that were in there. But here in just a second, we're going to go ahead and clear everything off these countertops. We're going to get rid of those Christmas soaps and bring in some fresh spring soaps. I decided to go with the Method Grapefruit Soaps for spring and those smell amazing. I was recommended those by so many people and I'm so glad that I purchased them. They smell absolutely delicious. So if you have not tried the Method Grapefruit scent, definitely go get your hands on that. It's at Target. It smells amazing. But I'm just going in with some scrubbing bubbles. I'm going to scrub out these sinks. I'm going to go in afterwards with some glass cleaner on the mirrors and just get this area freshened up.
For these sinks, I'm just taking my little scrubby brush and some scrubbing bubbles and scrubbing all of that hair and dust down. I'm also going to take that toothbrush and just clean around the drain and all of the little nooks and crannies. I find that a toothbrush does a lot better job than one of these big brushes just because it kind of gets in the smaller areas a little bit better. But I also just wanted to mention real quick that I do have an office makeover coming up on this channel and it's going to be huge because right now the office is covered in storage and so it's going to be just a huge clean out process. We have to pull everything out of the room Marie Kondo style, get it all organized and then I'm thinking about actually making it a double office now. I've gone back and forth with this idea a bunch of times but I figured if we do end up having kids down the road while we're living in this house I don't want to have to completely redo our office so I figured we may as well just make a double office and then make the extra spare room a gym for the time being until we have kids and then when we do have kids it'll be easy to just move our gym equipment out of there and put a nursery in there rather than having to completely make over an office and then move it so what I'm trying to do is get our big bedroom all sorted out and that's where we're gonna do our big office makeover I'm gonna put two desks in there one for will and one for me and I'm trying to come up with an idea to make it really symmetrical and beautiful I still want it to be rustic glam and my closet is still gonna be in there so send me all of your ideas if you have them I do have a Pinterest inspiration board going for it and I'm trying to get organized for that but that'll be up in the next couple months and then here in the next couple weeks, we're going to finish up the living room. So stay tuned for those videos coming up. I'm so ready to get back on the road so that I can get to the stores and shop a little bit. I also need to do a little bit of online shopping. But anyways, back to this cleaning. I'm just getting in all the nooks and crannies with this little rag. I went ahead and got my microfiber cloth and I'm just giving this counter an extra good wipe down. And here in just a second, we're going to move on to these cabinets. I'm going to pull out these drawers and... I had organized these drawers when we first moved in, but they've gotten way out of control. They're full of just hair from beard shavings and just random stuff. So I'm going to pull everything out, wipe them down, and reorganize them. And it doesn't take much to get your bathroom drawers organized. You can just get some organization from the Dollar Tree or wherever. And I'm pretty sure that's where I got my little baskets from, is either the Dollar Tree or Walmart and they were only like a couple bucks so we're just gonna throw a couple baskets in there and get all organized and this bathroom when we were all done it felt so fresh and y'all can't tell me that you don't spell your name with the Windex when you're cleaning the bathroom mirror so I went ahead and spelled out my name we're gonna get this mirror all cleaned up and I will say one thing that I used to do when I was cleaning the mirror is just wipe it down one time and call it good. And then the next day I would come in and find smears and be so confused and frustrated at my glass cleaner. And what it is is you have to go in double time or maybe triple times and just get it all cleaned up. So what I do is I go in with the glass cleaner one time and then two times and then I just go in with a dry cloth and wipe it down one more time and I never have any streaks the next day with this. You have to do that dry rub right after you finish cleaning it or else it will have streaks the next day. Now I'm just taking a microfiber cloth and my glass cleaner and cleaning up this light fixture. We were missing a couple bulbs here so I had to put that on my grocery list. I didn't have any on hand but now I'm just going to go ahead and replace our soaps with a fresh pink grapefruit smell. Those smell so good and then we're going to move on to taking out this trash. My blow dryer went out on this week so that was in there along with water bottles and a bunch of other trash. And so we took that out and now I'm just going to spray down our jetted tub with some Clorox spray and I'm going to let that sit while I go work on our shower. I'm also going to spray down our shower with the Clorox spray but I wanted to replace our shower head because it's not detachable from the wall and whenever I go to clean the shower it just makes it really difficult to try to rinse it. So I went ahead and bought one of these little detachable sprayers from Target and this has the six spray setting or I think it's five, either five or six spray setting but I'm excited to be able to clean the tub with this now and also when you're in the shower you can just go ahead and spray down anything that you need to wash down like hair stuck on the wall or whatever and it just makes everything a lot easier before I was taking my hand and trying to splash it and it just was not working for us. So I'm excited about this. I'm just going to pull everything out of our shower, spray it down and just give it a good scrub down. Anything to get your love Hey, won't you 
pour me another, I'm going in, so wish me good luck, yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song, I need a boost, let's turn up the love, because it's on. One thing that I cannot live without when it comes to cleaning out the showers is this extended rod scrubby pad and I've had a lot of questions about it lately. It actually came from Target but I have recently seen it at Walmart and the Dollar General so I think it's pretty easy to find if you just go to the cleaning section. They also have one that has just a small handle on it that's kind of handheld and I use that one for our tub. I also use it in the shower when I'm trying to get the floor but these are great for getting at all of the spots that are hard to get like up high and down low and they also have a little bit of a grit on them so it gets all of the soap scum up and like the hard stuck on water areas and now I'm just taking my new detachable faucet and spraying everything off I'm also going to take my Tylex or Clorox spray and spray the door and then I'm going to go in a second time with some glass cleaner and get that all shined up and then for this area I wanted to add a white shower curtain to make it look more like a spa area instead of just having this grubby glass door here <laughs> because most of the time it doesn't look very good it's always got that hard water stain stuff on it so I'm going to put up a new shower cur curtain in here today and y'all will have to tell me what you think I think it kind of looks a little bit too plain and I may end up returning it and getting something with a little bit more detail but I do love the look of a shower curtain right here I don't think this is a thing, but I really wish it was. Something to spray on these windows so that when hard water comes, it doesn't build up to where you can't see through these windows. But the best part of cleaning out this shower is always using some sprayway and getting these glass windows shined up so that you can see through them again. And that is why I'm most excited for this shower curtain that we're gonna put here because on a daily basis, it won't look terrible even though it really is behind the shower curtain. No one will know that. We'll just have something to cover it up on a daily basis and that way, us cleaning the shower once every two weeks won't be such a big deal because honestly, cleaning out shower is a lot of work and it's a pain in the butt, especially when it builds up as bad as this one does. But if you have any other advice on that, definitely leave it in the comments below. I'm also just going to take my Clorox spray and spray down this little caddy that we use in the shower. It has a lot of stuck on soap and stuff and then I'm going to rinse that off, put it back in. We'll put everything back in the shower and then we're going to move over here to this jetted tub. I get unstable I get unstable I put 
push you back, I hold you close. All right, here is the shower curtain that I picked up. This is just a simple white one from Target and it has a little bit of a grid pattern on it. I thought that the texture was really nice and that it would just provide sort of like a little spa kind of vibe in here. But then when I put it up, I realized that it does look really plain. So you'll have to let me know what you think down in the comments. Do I need something with a little bit of a polka dot or a stripe on it or does this look good in here? All right, so this is the finished product over here in the shower area. Now we're gonna move on to this jetted tub and I'm just gonna take my Clorox spray and I've already let some sit in here for about 10 or 15 minutes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and scrub it all up. I'm also, I have ordered on Amazon this yuck stuff that's supposed to get all of the gunk out of your jets, which we have not been in this house very long and it's just me that uses this tub. So I'm not really sure how bad that they would be, but I'm very interested to know. <laughs> but it didn't come in in time for this video, so I'll let y'all know how that goes or I'll use it in a future video. But for today, we're just scrubbing down the visible areas of the tub with some Clorox spray and then this extended rod. And I'm also gonna take a sponge and scrub out the bottom floor of the tub. And then we're just gonna take some spray away and shine up all of the chrome around the tub. Normally for the toilet, I'll just take some Clorox wipes and wipe it all down, but for today, I decided to spray it all down with some Clorox spray and then take a warm microfiber cloth and wipe it all down. I got the top of the toilet, the lid of the toilet, underneath the lid, I got the bottom of the toilet, behind the toilet, the whole shebang, and we got it all cleaned up. And then afterwards, I just went ahead and threw that rag away. I don't usually do that, but for today, I just wanted to make sure everything was really good and disinfected, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on.
so fast baby i will show you how you can catch my vibe this will be kind of fun comment down below when the last time you cleaned the back of your toilet was <laughs> i'm very interested to know when was the last time you cleaned the baseboard behind your toilet and also just the back of your toilet that gets neglected but it also gets really disgusting so if you haven't done that in a while definitely go take a look and see what it looks like it's pretty gross and now I'm just going to wash up my hands and we're going to finish up this toilet. I also found a better way to store our toilet paper on the top of the toilet to where it fits in this basket a little bit neater. Instead of storing them face up, I'm going to store them sideways. And it's little things like that that just make me so happy because now my air freshener fits in there perfectly. But now we're just going to take my Clorox wand and clean out the inside of this toilet. Now we're moving on to organizing these drawers. And like I said, when we first moved in, I had all of these organized, but as time went on, we kind of destroyed them. So what I'm gonna do is just pull everything out and then use my basil Mrs. Meyer spray to wipe them all up down. And then we're just gonna put everything back in in an organized fashion. And then I'm also going to not put things back in that we don't use every day. I'll store that over in the big closet in the bathroom. But for this top drawer, all I really wanted here was the stuff that Will uses on a daily basis, like his razor, and then also our toothpaste and toothbrush and things like that. I had been just throwing my earrings in here at the end of the day when I wash my face and not putting them away. So we're going to go ahead and put all of those away and just get this drawer looking good. Whenever I organize our bathroom, I'm not really sure what of Will's to organize and what of it to just throw in his little toiletry bag because ever since he was in the military, he's just carried a toiletry bag instead of organizing his stuff in a drawer. And to me, that seems really temporary, but I've tried to take everything out of his bag and organize it in baskets and make it look really nice. And he doesn't like it, he just ends up putting everything back in his little bag. So sometimes I just don't really bother with his stuff, but I do know that he does keep out the toothpaste and things like that. So I'll organize things like that, but all of his daily stuff does stay in his toiletry bag and underneath his sink is really organized because I did that not too long ago. So we're not gonna worry about that. Most of the junk and the stuff that I'm organizing is mine. This middle drawer has all of my makeup and then my daily facial products, things like that. We're gonna pull everything out, wipe it down. I'm also gonna clean out my makeup organizer and just spray everything down, wipe it down. My brushes actually really do need a good clean, but I don't have time for that today. So I'm just gonna get everything organized, give it a basic wipe down, and then just clean out these drawers really well. This basket just has all of the stuff that I use on a daily basis, like my facial moisturizer, my brush, my deodorant, and then this other little plastic organizer has all of my makeup, and so I'm just going to pull all of that off, and this thing gets pretty gross, so I'm just going to spray it down and wipe it down, and then just put everything back on there. And this is all of the makeup that I use on a daily basis, so everything that I don't use that kind of just got thrown in here, 
I'm going to take it and put it somewhere else, organize it in a different area. But for this drawer, I just want it to be everything that I use every single day. This bottom drawer has a little bit of everything, but mostly just our curling iron, blow dryer, things like that. And then I did have some of Will's stuff organized down here, but like I said, he does not like his stuff organized into baskets. He'd rather just have it all in one bag that he can grab out of. So he did peel away all of his things from this drawer. So I think what I'm gonna do is still keep all of my electronics down here, my blow dryer, my straightener, my curling iron, and then I'm just gonna find something else to put in all of those other little baskets. We do have like a miniature sunscreen, we have some chapstick and retainer boxes. So those are the things that I'll be organizing down here in this drawer. When I was a kid growing up, we always stored our toothbrush in a toothbrush container on top of the counter. But ever since I've been married, I haven't had one of those. I've always just stored it in a cup or somewhere underneath the counter or in a drawer. And I get really grossed out with where my toothbrush lands. So I've been using this little basket to store my toothbrush, but even that has built up in it now. So I'm just taking my Mrs. Myers and wiping that all out. And I'm still gonna store my toothbrush in there. And Lord knows where Will's toothbrush is <laughs> because I had his in his own little basket too. And he took it and I think he probably put it down in the bottom of his little toiletry bag. So it's whatever, but I always like my toothbrush in a safe place to where I know it's not touching everything. But now I'm just gonna store my retainers down here and I'm also gonna use one of those tiny little baskets for all of my chapsticks because we have the worst time in this house finding chapsticks and also fingernail clippers when it comes time. So that's what I'm gonna use those two things for is fingernail clippers and chapsticks and that way we'll always know where they are. I'll probably get fancier organization later on down the road, but for right now, this is really functional for us. We have our toothbrush and toothpaste in the top drawer. All of my daily basic stuff is in the second drawer. And then all of our hair dryers and blow dryers, or I guess that's the same thing, and curling irons and straighteners are in the bottom drawer with a few other little things. And now I'm cleaning out underneath my sink because it desperately needed attention. I have my great grandma's jewelry box under here for some reason. So we're gonna relocate that. And then I'm gonna bring over my organized baskets with my um, headbands and ponytail holders and all of that and then I have one with lotions and also one with day-to-day -day products like teeth whitener and stuff like that we're gonna pull all of those baskets from the big closet in the bathroom and put them under here and then that way we have a lot more room for storage for towels in the big closet Back when I didn't get my nails done, I had this huge basket full of fingernail polish and I just never used it after I started getting my nails done. So I narrowed it down to like 20 polishes and I just store them in that pink bag back there. I'm also keeping my cotton balls and Q-tips under here. And now we're just gonna get rid of everything that was under there that we don't need under there and find a new home for it.
And since it's sitting there, I'll go ahead and ask, what do y'all think about Irish spring soap? I absolutely love the smell of it. It always makes me want to get a shower. I'm not the kind of person that loves the floral scents or the body soap or the, uh, what do you call them, the body gels from Bath & Body Works. I'd rather have an, a good old bar of Irish spring soap. It smells so good and fresh. But I know all of the people that don't love it, they absolutely hate it. So let me know what you think about it down below. I did a poll on Instagram the other day and it was about 50-50, but the people that said that they didn't love it, they had a very like strong hate story about it. <laughs> so definitely let me know down below. And if you've never smelled it, next time you go to the store, you'll have to smell it and let me know what you think. I just feel like it smells so fresh and when you get out of the shower, that's all you can smell and I love that. <laughs> Here I'm just taking my Mrs. Meyer spray and wiping down the front of the cabinets as well as the baseboards just to make sure they're not dusty or have stuff running down them. I know that I did this with these cabinets right after Christmas so they weren't too terrible but they did have a few watermarks and stuff on the front of them and I just want to make sure that that's kept up with. I'm also taking my Dyson around the baseboards to make sure all of the dust is up. I'm going to take my sprayway and wipe down this mirror and we're just getting everything all cleaned up. I'm going to show you behind this mirror in just a second. It was really gross. We haven't vacuumed behind this mirror in I guess a really long time because it was really nasty. So we're going to take my Dyson and dust all of that up. And here in just a second when we get everything cleaned up, we're going to pull everything out of here and Dyson it up and then mop with some lemon pine salt and hot water and then we will finish up by putting all of the rugs back and I'll show you the finished product. These floors are really good about hiding dirt, so it's kind of hard to tell, but right here the floor was full of hair and dust and dirt. So we're going to take my Dyson and vacuum as much up as we can, and for the rest we're going to go in with the regular Dyson with the foot on it, and then at the end we'll go in with the mop, and it looks so much better when it's all said and done. One product that I think would come in so handy in this house is a steam mop. We have tile floors throughout almost the whole house and it would be so easy to just grab it and steam everything rather than just dealing with a bucket and a mop. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching today's spring cleaning motivation. Now that the roads are clear, hopefully I can get out and shop and find some of the things that I've been looking for. It did feel really good to have everything deep cleaned though in the bathroom and in the kitchen nook. But I'll show all of the extra stuff in next week's video if I get my hands on it. Y'all don't forget to go check out Carla's channel and subscribe. Show her some love and let her know that I sent you. And I will see y'all next Sunday. Bye!